All right, last one. So we've got our, uh, we've got to try to figure out what the values are for A and B that would make this function continuous and differentiable. And uh, I would like you to try this one on your own first after seeing the last problem. But let's go ahead. F at 2. Let's do our little thing here. And is that an A x cubed? Yeah. So that's an x cubed. So that's 2 cubed is 8, 8a eight plus 1 for x values that are less than 2. And then when we replace x with 2 here, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we just have b for x. Oh, shoot. That's b plus 10. Okay, for x values that are greater than or equal to 2. So we have one equation. And I'll save that, though, because I, uh, I like doing it this way first. Let's find the derivative. Oh, that's going to be a hard derivative So um, for you guys, because you don't know how to do that part yet. So we're going to have to multiply that out. So let's multiply this out. b times x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 10. So we have bx squared minus 6bx plus 9b plus 10. Well, the good thing is that the only two terms that we need to worry about in our derivative are the first two that contain an x. The other ones are constants, and so the derivatives of those two terms are zero. So the derivative of the top piece would be, remember, take the exponent, multiply it by the constant out in front, so 3a, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. That's for x is less than 2. And then on the bottom piece, Remember, I multiplied all that out, and here it is here. So the derivative of the bottom piece would be 2bx minus 6b. Remember, a constant times x, the derivative is that constant. So minus 6b for x values that are greater than or equal to 2. So we have f prime at 2, then, would be, put a 2 in for x, and we have 2, time, two squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So we have 12a for x less than 2. And when we replace x here with 2, we get uh, 2 here. 2 times 2 is 4. 4b minus 6b would be negative 2b for x values that are greater than or equal to 2. So the, the two equations are to continuous and differentiable have to be the same. So continuous at 2 would be 8a plus 1 has to equal b plus 10, and we have 12a has to equal negative 2b. So how would I solve this system of equations? I would divide both sides by negative 2, and I would get uh, negative 6a is equal to b, and then I'd put negative 6a into that b, and we're just running out of room here, aren't we? That's uh, okay figure it out. Uh, so for this b, okay, you got 8a plus 1 equals negative 6a plus 10. And we're going to have to do a little mental math here to fit it all in. So we have adding 6a to both sides, we're going to get 14a. Subtracting 1 from both sides, we're going to get equals 9. So a equals 9 over 14. And that's not a super convenient value for a, is it? I'm going to have to use this space over here, but I'm going to put a circle around that guy. thought I'd have a little bit more room here. So negative 6, now I'm going to use this equation right here and replace a with 9 over 14. So we have negative 6 times 9 over 14 equals b. Well, uh, 2 goes into 6 3 times, and 2 goes into 14 7 times. And so we get negative 20, 3 times 9 to 27 over 7 is equal to b. Okay. Usually the values for a and b are a little bit more convenient, but nevertheless, there we go. That's it. So just go ahead and do the next two pages for homework, and you guys are done.